Martial law courts in Turkey are now processing thousands of cases in a series of mass trials. Here, at Martial Law Court No. 1, at the military headquarters near Ankara, 34 members of the banned National Salvation Party are facing charges that they violated Turkey's strict laws about secularism, insulted the memory of Ataturk, and tried to set up an Islamic state. <laughs> The party chairman, Mr. Nekmetin Erbakan, faces the possibility of a 36-year prison sentence, his co-defendants a maximum of 20 years. There's no jury, and the case is heard before the attorney general, two military judges, and the chief judge, who's a civilian. Mr. Erbakan's minority party used to hold the balance of power in previous parliaments. But many westernized Turks felt threatened by its Islamic fundamentalism and fiery speeches at a rally last year appear to have been the final pretext for the military takeover. Other Turkish politicians are also facing martial law courts. Elsewhere, 587 members of the extreme right-wing Nationalist Action Party are to be charged with offences ranging from attempting to overthrow the constitution to armed insurrection. 220 of them face a possible death sentence for their alleged connections with a terrorist group called the Grey Wolves. There are even more charges against suspected left-wing terrorists and military prosecutors have asked for the death penalty in about 900 different cases.